Welcome. Today we will be going through question 5 of the Cayley Olympiad 2016. Dean wishes to place the positive integers 1, 2, 3 to 9 in the cells of a 3x3 three three square grid so that there is exactly one number in each cell. The product of the numbers in each row is a multiple of 4 and the product of the numbers in each column is also a multiple of 4. Is Dean's task possible? Prove that your answer is correct. Please pause the video here and have a think about the problem on your own before proceeding to the hints and solutions. Hint number one. This problem involves multiples of four. Hint number two. How must two, four, six and eight be distributed in the cell to satisfy the last two conditions? Hint number three. Play around with the problem. Consider the two and the six. Where must they be in respect to each other for each row to be a multiple of four? How about each column? Hint number four. Don't forget about the first condition. Solution. We will prove by contradiction that Dean's task is impossible. Suppose Dean can satisfy all three conditions. There are three ways Dean can make a row a multiple of four. Putting the four in that row, putting the eight in that row, or by putting both the two and the six in that row. Now, since there are three rows, the four and the eight are in different rows and both the two and the six are on the remaining row. Now, because of the symmetry of a three by three grid, the same applies to the columns. And so we get the two and the six in the same column. But since the two and the six are in the same row and in the same column, they must be in the same cell which contradicts the first rule. We therefore have a contradiction and hence Dean's task is impossible. Thank you for watching. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this video and feel free to drop a comment in the comments down below. Goodbye.